Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading for August, of course, darling. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, Aquarius, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading helps you out. That's how I keep up with you, darling, is through the comments, of course. And give this video a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this tarot reading today or you're just enjoying my vibe, all right? It really helps me out a lot, Aquarius, and I appreciate those who take the extra step just to support me, because I know y'all don't have to. So today, Aquarius, we're going to get into three rows for you. Your first row today, we're going to be talking about the person that is on your mind right now. Could be platonic, could be romantic, could be business related, but I know it's not my business. All right. <laughs> your second row today, Aquarius, we're going to be talking about what you need to hear today. All right. Could be spiritual guidance or could just serve as a simple affirmation, darling, for your path at this time. Could be really deep or it could be the most surface level stuff that you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it's not the latter though. Your third row though, we're going to get into your predictions, Aquarius. See what's going to be happening for you. I always say the future is never solid, as most people do, right? Um, but if you continue down this path that you are currently on, I can make some pretty solid predictions if I say so myself about what's going to happen in your life should you follow in this path here, all right? Starting out your energy though, Aquarius, you have this King of Cups. Also remember, darling, check out more than just your one zodiac sign Aquarius. Check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as your Venus. I don't say it just, for, you know, watch someone else's. Watch your Venus sign on someone else's channel. But if people really need to start catering the energy to their chart so you have a better understanding of what's happening in your life in specific. Your Sun sign really don't mean too much, <laughs> to be quite honest from an astrology standpoint. Anyways, Aquarius, King of Cups here in the back of the deck for you. For you, Aquarius here, I see this sense of mental or not mental, emotional maturity coming in here. Some of you guys might be having some type. I don't know why I feel this energy. I need to say it, but like this sense of like a fatherly energy stepping forward here. Maybe it's like your father coming into your life here, or making an appearance in some shape or form. However, that cu uh, is customized to your life here. But I kind of get this sense for many of you, Aquarius. It's like um, either like a human like human outside of your father apparently apparently y'all's fathers are not human <laughs> um like a just a person that could just be a person that's coming in that like exudes like a fatherly energy um but i also see this as you aquarius now i know you're saying it's like well velka first of all king of cups is water energy right and, you know we're we we might have aqua at the beginning of our name honey but we're air sign but i feel like you guys are finding emotional mastery as as over the top as that is some of you guys find that emotional uh mastery through i don't know i still get like the sense of a fatherly presence all right and for some like i don't want to say they've passed on but i do feel like there's some spiritual significance towards it Maybe it's just like a spirit guide or I don't know. I just, I keep on consistently getting some like extremely zen. All right, hold up. Take this with a grain of salt for my Aquariuses that don't want to hear my intuitive parts of this, but I want to be shown impressions. I'm shuffling the cards, but I have no relevance here. It just helps me focus my hands here. I keep on being shown a black dot and then a chest, a wooden chest here. And then I saw blood, honey. All right, we're moving on. I don't know where that's coming. I don't know where we're going with that, darling. All right. I saw a black circle, a wooden chest. They all seem separate. Black circle, a wooden chest, dark wooden chest. I'm trying to see what's in it, but I can't see it. I can't tell. Um, and then I just started seeing blood. <laughs> Not a lot of it, but just like just like the reference of it. I'm just like, okay, girl. Um, so take that as you will. That's all intuitive. I could just be in the loony bin, honey. All right. I'll take it in consideration. I wear duck earrings. All right. So <laughs> I'm very in on the joke of myself, honey. All right. So <laughs> I can just be your kooky cousin. No, that's okay. Let's get into the person that's on your mind right now, Aquarius. You have that temperance, knight of swords, five of cups here. All right. Mm. Anytime I see that knight of swords energy, I'm just like, ugh. I feel bad for anyone that's dealing with that type of energy. Honestly, here, Aquarius, it's that sense of where it's that flippy floppy energy. I initially wanted to say hot and cold, but I don't feel like it's necessarily like hot and cold energy. I feel like it's the sense for you, Aquarius, with this person. It's like the right timing will find its way. 
The right timing will find its way, so don't be so focused in on right now, Aquarius, about whatever is happening between you and this person here. The right timing for for what? <laughs> Either a conversation or the right timing for something with this person. Y'all expecting someone, expecting something to happen or news to break about this person, Aquarius here. Like I see like this sense, the reason why, especially with this Knight of Swords here, Aquarius, it's like some days it looks really promising and it's just like, okay, this is really about to be happening. And then other days you're just like, you're realizing just how patient you're going to have to be until something manifests with the situation that you're hoping for. And I don't know why, Aquarius, you are the first one uh, that I ever done a reading for. You're not the first one I've ever done a reading for, but uh, <laughs> you're the first one I've done a reading for, Aquarius, where I'm tapping into like the person. Excuse me. I just burped. Hopefully my, I mean, hopefully my expensive mic did not catch it. But at the same time, if it didn't catch it, I spent like 600 bucks on this audio setup, honey. So it's just like, why didn't you catch it? But <laughs> hopefully it didn't. <laughs> but um, I see Aquarius with this situation, like some of you guys like are waiting for like karma with this person. All right. I don't even want to say karma because I feel like that's such an overused term and I'm guilty of using it as well as out of sheer laziness here. Justice seems more appropriate here, Aquarius. Someone getting their just desserts. Because karma, people use karma, and again, myself included, out of sheer laziness, people you use the terminology karma for something that it really doesn't mean. <clears throat> I can go into a whole video about like karma because people talk about karma, but they neglect the Dharma aspect that makes karma relevant. But then we start getting into Hinduism and stuff, honey, from where it stems from. And I don't want to speak as if I'm the expert. I just have a little bit of experience just due to my own research as well as people that I know. But I digress here. What's going to be happening with this here? All right. I want to get a message for those Aquariuses that are just like looking at the situation right now with this person. Just like, why hasn't this happened yet? Why hasn't this gone forward? Let's go into this. I'm using the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck as my clarifier. Never watched the movie before, but for those that might be curious. Three of Pentacles coming in here. Financially, I feel as if... What's this? This is in the reverse. Page of Cups, Page of Potions coming in here in the reverse. I almost feel like Aquarius when it comes to this person here. Very specific, but it's like... Even with the lovers. All right, this is very specific here, Aquarius. It's like you're sitting here waiting. And then even in the back of the deck here, you have the sun card. It's like this sense of like you're seeing this person succeeding or you're I don't want to say succeeding, but you're like seeing this person living their life seemingly completely unfazed here. And you're just in this place of being like, man, like what the heck is going on here? All right. Kind of want to push things along. Give it some time here, uh, Aquarius. I, I'm i going to be very honest here. I feel like this is a very, like, <laughs> vindictive energy. I ain't mad about it, Aquarius. But I feel, like, more so drawn just to focus in on, like, whoever this person's on your mind that is just from an aggressive standpoint. So if you're thinking about your mama and you're a mama's boy or a mama's girl, honey, this row ain't for you, honey. Go get, go to the next one because this is straight up just brutal. I want to just be completely unfiltered. Well, I've been unfiltered, honey. Probably a little bit too unfiltered, honey, honestly, as I keep on rambling. Anyways, I feel like when it comes to this situation, Aquarius, um, you're waiting for this person to have their karma there we go with that laziness terminology and you're waiting for this person to get what it is that they uh have coming to them here and i get like this sense of where it's like they're going to be getting so close to what it is that they want some of you you might feel as if like maybe they like cheated on you or maybe it's just like that sense of like maybe they're getting deals or what have you it doesn't really matter here because the lovers represents more than just people Honestly, the lover's energy, the lover's card itself is the most complex card in the tarot due to how much it represents. But the sun energy here in the back of the deck, it's like just before this person has everything that they want, it gets snatched away. And that's what I keep, that's what I keep on getting with that is like this sense of where this person's going to be hitting their rock bottom. Like they're about to be seeing the complete light at the end of the tunnel. And right before they see, enter, exit that tunnel, they fall down a giant dark hole. 
<laughs> I don't know who that's for. I've never in my lifetime of doing these readings, darling, have I gotten something so aggressive. I don't want to say dark because I don't think it, I mean, from my perspective, darling, I don't think it's dark at all. Some of y'all might think it's dark and God bless. <laughs> but <laughs> I usually don't get something in that type of severity and that vindictive type of energy i ain't mad at it darling i ain't listen here i ain't no mother Teresa, darling you look look at my channel my pinned video is talking about how i escaped a satanic cult honey okay so trust and believe <laughs> i'm gonna be the last one that's judging honey if that's your truth all right so aquarius let's now get into what you need to hear today you have the three of wands four of pentacles here with the three of swords Hmm. This is interesting to me here. Aquarius, I get like this sense of where you guys need to start taking more action. When you think about the three of wands, the three of wands is an energy where you need to like you're seeing the signs. You know where it is that you need to go, even if you don't want to admit it to yourself because you have imposter syndrome. You just doubt yourself or you just question everything that you do and never say or think. Right. Like you can't even be like, oh, like I think I want a sandwich. And because then you're just like, well, actually, do I want a sandwich? And you start spiraling with the thoughts. Right. I feel like it's in that sense here, uh, Aquarius, where it's, you need to kind of like piss or get off the pot here. You know, you need to piss. So why aren't you pissing? Right. And it shares that that three of wands because it's like this person's like seeing all the signs seeing everything seeing everything progressing but they're not moving they're just being a spectator and then it shares that similar type of message with that four of pentacles four of pentacles can represent a few things but it represents aquarius that sense of someone holding tightly onto their pentacles potentially too tight waiting for a perfect situation that's never going to happen so they're just that sitting duck I want you to do more, Aquarius, all right? I want you to do more. Three of Swords coming in here, stop beating yourself up. Stop being so critical of yourself. I am gonna be very blunt here. I feel like a lot of this Three of Swords energy is associated with, is very self-inflicted. Some of you Aquariuses need to really, I feel like some of y'all's, uh, what is the word, Aquarius? Some of y'all's self-deprecation is getting a little bit out of hand is what I wanna be saying as well, Aquarius. Be a lot kinder to yourself because I feel like it's starting to actually impact you, your body, physically, energetically, emotionally here. Be kinder to yourself. If you're around people that you make jokes around your uh, expense, avoid them for right now. And, you know, Aquarius, I always say this too, is just like, I come from, I am a child of the internet, right? I come from all sorts of interesting nooks and crannies of communities all right i out of any and i have a very dark sense of humor i out of anyone i love a joke i don't care i will always make a joke even if it's at the expense of myself and even i still acknowledge that there's a time and place like self-deprecating humor there's a time and place for it if it's uh done solidly if it's done intelligently but you know it's, a lot of the time self-deprecation is the easy route out for humor and so I want to challenge you, Aquarius, and finding instead of constantly beating yourself up mentally every single day, you know, the longest relationship that we have in our lives is with ourselves. And so why would you make your the longest relationship that you have abusive? Just because it's coming from you, darling, doesn't mean it's any better. You know, if, if you and I, Aquarius, are best friends, honey, and I slap you just because we're best friends does that slap me i mean unless you're into that type of thing honey which how you doing but like if i slap you just because it's familiar doesn't mean it takes away the pain doesn't mean that it means anything else other than i slap the shit out of you <laughs> you know <laughs> so keep that energy with yourself you know stop slapping yourself right <laughs> you have the falling angel coming in here number 19 equaling to one in numerology the magician energy which i always say aquarius my regulars can vouch for me i always say the magician energy i associate as you because i always call the magician the mad scientist energy falling angel spiritual narcolepsy spiritual narcolepsy here isn't narcolepsy i'm about to sound like a real dumbass <laughs> here uh, aquarius but isn't narcolepsy the one where you fall asleep all the time spiritual narcolepsy here i'm gonna just take it as that because i see it as that way here spiritual narcolepsy why are we taking this in this way why is this card here with that falling angel 
Mm-mm. Ace of Cups coming in here with that butterfly coming in. Strong spiritual significance with that. And then the Eight of Potions as well. Eight of Cups. Ace and Eight of Cups coming in here. Complimenting this here, Aquarius. Mm. Some of you Aquariuses, this is going to be, again, very specific message for my Aquarians here. It's not going to be for everybody because some of y'all don't have the same spiritual practices that would make sense for this here. Some of you guys are going to be having some type of spiritual force, deity, some spiritual guide, making itself present in your life again. I feel like this is a connection that you may have started and then kind of just forgot about if we're going to just be blunt in that way, which is you're human, right? But I feel like there's going to be some spiritual force that's going to make a reappearance in your life and be like, oh, I forgot about you in the most respectful of ways, obviously. But again, like no spiritual force is going to, no mature spiritual force is going to hold it accountable for you having human, <laughs> human uh, ability, right? Capabilities. And that's what I feel with that spiritual narcolepsy. Again, I could just be sounding like a real dumbass right now, not knowing what narcolepsy means. But and also, please give me some grace, <laughs> Aquarius. It's right now five o'clock in the morning because <laughs> I couldn't sleep, and I was just like, ah, let me channel this energy into something, which probably explains why y'all's reading is so, so, so sloppy. <laughs> but I like it. I like. I think I like uh, having my readings be a little bit more raw. I'm kind of tired of people taking me so seriously when I don't even take myself seriously. I would have thought that wearing duck earrings would make people realize I don't care about what's going, like how this, what's going on in this 3D reality. But apparently, people still do. I uh, think I care. Anyways, first quarter moon coming in for you, assessing the situation here. Why is that there as well? Aquarius, you're the only sign that I'm having to like clarify these oracle cards for because I always say Aquarius, y'all's energy is always it's a nightmare in the sense of as a tarot reader to try to unpack for you Aquarius and it could just be representing the chaoticness that y'all's lives have just must have been going on since the dawn of time of me connecting to y'all's energy. But y'all's energy, Aquarius, it's a nightmare, but a blessing at the same time because it's fun while I'm going through it, but at the same time it's stressful trying to just like grab at all these very nuanced pieces these very these things that don't make sense in my brain at all but i feel the need to still say them right with i mean sh shit i talked about the black circle in a box <laughs> <laughs> all right aquarius so nine of swords here ten of potions with this eight of pentacles coming in here assessing the situation here whatever you're having anxiety about I feel like there is like certain anxieties here, uh, Aquarius. Almost no. Okay, this is like taking care of anxieties here. It's like you, there's stuff that is sitting on your mind right now, Aquarius. And rather than actually assessing the situation for what it is to rectify that anxiety, you're just sitting in your head and being more anxious about it rather than speaking your truth about it because you don't want to upset if this is like family or whatever the case is here. Speak your truth about it here. All right. Not speaking your truth, but. Assess the situation. Whatever you're having anxiety about, you can easily rectify that anxiety by just looking closer into the situation. All right? That's what I get on that, Aquarius. And let's continue on here, darling. All right? Into your predictions for this week. You have the Ace of Pentacles, Seven, of, seven and Nine of Cups here for you. All right. I see you experimenting here, Aquarius. Or at least I see some of y'all experimenting here, all right, which really makes sense with that magician energy. The magician energy is that card of experimentation as well, all right? Ace of Pentacles coming in here. This lets me know, like, you could be doing something else that would be a lot more profitable, Aquarius, all right? You could be doing something, you could be approaching something from a different way that isn't as perfect, right? And the reason why I say that, because this is Nine of Cups, all right, just because it's not perfect doesn't mean it doesn't deserve to be seen. I believe I said this to you before, Aquarius, but some of y'all didn't listen to me the last time because I still feel called to say it to you again this week here. All right, just because it's not perfect, just because it's not perfect doesn't mean it's not worth being seen. 
Oh, Aquarius, of course it'd be y'all's energy. Look at me blaming y'all for my technical issues. But to be quite honest, Aquarius, y'all are really usually the only sign I end up having to have technical issues with. So I don't know where it cut off at essentially here, Aquarius. So I'll just take that as a sign from spirit to tell me to shut my mouth and get this done here because y'all's reading is pretty long anyways. I essentially just see a lot more for my Aquariuses that choose to explore other uh, avenues and dabble in whatever way that looks like that's why i see the prophet coming in here but i feel like for many of you guys you doubt your capabilities and like being able to ground something or bring life to a situation if you were to experiment and that's your biggest blockage really all right so card drop aquarius i love y'all so much if y'all made it to the end of this darling i applaud you you a real one honey um if you enjoy this give this a like and subscribe I'm tired, so I'm done giving the spiel. I love you, Aquarius. <laughs> Bye, darling.